the $41 million casino heist. On September 4th, 2023, in a meticulously planned heist, the notorious cyber criminal group Lazarus Group infiltrated Stake.com's digital vault. Their target? A staggering $41 million worth of various cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. That's enough to buy luxury cars, travel the world, or maybe even buy a private island. Although Elon Musk probably won't sell. Come along as we delve into the gripping tale of the Stake.com hack, uncovering how the attackers did it, the platform's fight to recover, and the FBI's mission to bring them to justice. Hold tight, because this isn't just about lost crypto. It's a glimpse into the future of online safety and the ongoing war against cybercrime. Ready? Let's dive in. From gambling house to crypto haven. Stake.com, established in 2017, is an online casino offering a unique blend of classic games, live action sports betting, and even its own exclusive titles, all fueled by the exciting and sometimes risky world of cryptocurrency. Its integration with over 20 cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, made it a haven for decentralized borderless transactions. This innovative approach garnered them global acclaim and trust, but it also caught the eye of some very unwelcome guests, the Lazarus Group. At the time of the attack, Stake.com held a staggering $41 million in virtual currency, a digital El Dorado for cyber criminals like the Lazarus Group. The immense value and inherent anonymity of these currencies made it an irresistible opportunity for the North Korean state-sponsored group. Stake.com's wide reach across the globe, serving people in 15 different languages, made it even more attractive to the Lazarus Group. Being able to operate in many countries opened up more opportunities for them to exploit. However, it also meant dealing with complicated local rules and regulations. Even though Stake.com made sure to follow the rules, these legal complexities could be exploited by those who knew how to work around them. With the Lazarus Group identified as the culprits, the question remains, how did the Lazarus Group, notorious cyber criminals, successfully breach the casino's defenses and abscond with $41 million in cryptocurrency? The Stake.com Heist The Stake.com attack wasn't just something that happened out of the blue. It was a planned move, aimed at a platform where online gambling and the growing world of cryptocurrency come together. This area is full of valuable digital assets. The attackers were smart, changing their strategies to take advantage of new chances in the constantly changing digital world. The Lazarus Group is known for carefully planning their moves, using tricky technology weaknesses and social tricks to get into important stuff. They really like going after cryptocurrency because it's decentralized and secretive, which suits their money-making goals perfectly. While the methods employed by the Lazarus Group remain unclear, understanding their identity and past actions might offer a glimpse into their motivations and modus operandi. Let's do a deep dive into the group. Lazarus Group This secretive group, supported by North Korea, isn't your typical bunch of online criminals. They're not just hacking for personal gain. Their attacks stretch across different parts of the world and various types of businesses. Their main goal? To provide financial support to the North Korean government, including its nuclear projects. The Lazarus Group has a history that's pretty worrying. Remember the alleged Sony Pictures hack in 2014? They used malware to mess things up big time. Lots of confidential stuff got stolen, throwing the whole studio into chaos and causing millions in losses. Then, in 2017, they hit us with WannaCry, a nasty ransomware attack that messed up hospitals, businesses, and government offices everywhere. Their impacts aren't just seen in Hollywood. They've hit banks, financial firms, and even cryptocurrency exchanges. In 2021, they were allegedly behind a big theft from a bank in Bangladesh, taking away millions and revealing weaknesses in financial systems worldwide. The Lazarus Group wasn't exactly operating under the radar. This infamous collective, long on the FBI's watch list, had a track record of audacious cyber attacks. But the Stake.com heist wasn't just another exploit. It was a direct challenge, and the FBI wouldn't stay silent. 
Sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury in 2019, their track record of cyber attacks made them a prime suspect. But the FBI didn't just point fingers around. They found out something troubling. The Lazarus Group was responsible for several big crypto thefts around the world in 2023. They managed to steal over $200 million in total. AlphaFo, the crypto payment provider focused on gambling, and CoinsPaid, a crypto exchange in Estonia, were hit hard, each losing $60 million in separate attacks. Then, in June, Atomic Wallet, a cryptocurrency wallet, was also targeted, losing $100 million to the cyber criminals. The motive, according to the US government, was clear. Funding the North Korean regime, these cyber heists weren't just about enriching hackers like you would have thought. No, they were allegedly fueling the country's nuclear weapons and ballistic missile programs. In a world striving for nuclear non-proliferation, the FBI's message was blunt. This wouldn't stand. They didn't stop at accusations. The FBI actively shared information with international partners, bolstering global defenses against the North Korean cyber threats. Public warnings were issued, detailing the Lazarus Group's tactics and urging vigilance. Essentially, the gloves were off. It wasn't just about getting back the stolen money, although that was really important. It was also about breaking down the financial systems that helped North Korea do illegal stuff. By showing how much they rely on cybercrime and stealing online, the FBI wanted to stop their money flow and make it clear. The internet isn't a safe place for hackers backed by governments. The fight against the Lazarus Group isn't finished yet. We'll see new tricks and weaknesses being used. With the FBI now in the mix, things are changing. It's not just about nabbing cyber criminals anymore. It's about protecting global security and breaking down the money systems that support rogue governments. While the stake.com incident started it all, battling North Korea's cyber warfare is now about staying alert and working together in a new way. Losing such an amount can be such a huge shock, even for a platform like Stake.com. But how did they respond to this cyber attack, and how do they cope now? The Aftermath Stake.com didn't shy away from the attack. They promptly acknowledged the unauthorized transactions, reassuring users that their personal funds remained safe. Securing the compromised wallets was the immediate priority, followed by a transparent communication strategy. This swift action helped mitigate the initial panic and rebuild trust. And while investigations commenced, Stake.com prioritized a quick return to normalcy. Within the same day, they announced the issue was resolved, resuming all services and resuming instant deposits and withdrawals. This demonstrated their commitment to minimizing disruption for their users. Blockchain investigators then pieced together the stolen funds, revealing a hefty price tag, $41 million split across Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and Polygon. This transparency, while acknowledging the loss, also highlighted the effectiveness of their efforts in protecting user funds. The effects of the attack stayed around for a while. Stake.com's image as a safe place took a knock. People who are new to the platform might feel unsure, and there could be more attention from regulators. Building back trust became a huge task that needed constant talking, making things more secure and working closely with regulators. Stake.com embarked on a multi-pronged approach to recovery. They implemented stricter security measures, patched vulnerabilities, and invested in advanced protection. Communication focused on user education, highlighting their efforts to prevent future breaches. Engaging with regulators showcased their commitment to compliance and user safety. Stake.com knew that they had a tough road ahead, but they took it seriously. They focused on being open, acting quickly, and earning back people's trust. This laid the foundation for their comeback. Their ability to keep things secure and adapt to the changing world of online crypto gambling will determine if they can keep going strong, since trust is what really matters here. The Stake.com cyber attack is a harsh lesson that highlights weaknesses in crypto security and brings the notorious Lazarus Group's illicit activities to the forefront. The FBI's sanctions and pursuit of this group are crucial steps that could deter future cyber attacks. But this fight isn't over. Are you concerned about online security? Share your thoughts, like, subscribe, and stay informed about the evolving crypto landscape with us.